please note down these notes are available in the description of video download your notes in this chapter of molecular biology of genetics three important topics one is dna replication synthesis of dna second is transcription that is biogenesis of rna and third is that is translation means synthesis of proteins we have already discussed dna replication and in today's lecture we will discuss transcription no doubt in today's lecture we will discuss transcription or it is biogenesis of rna dear students it is a process of copying genetic information of the dna into rna which is required for the synthesis of protein chain that is translation it means in today's lecture which is transcription that is biogenesis of rna means copying the genetic information of dna into rna which is required for the process of protein synthesis or it is translation this entire mechanism of rna formation or it is transcription that occurs on a particular segment of dna the part of dna the segment of dna which involves in transcription or in the formation of mrna or in the formation of in the biogenesis of rna that segment is called transcription unit and this transcription unit having following components one is it is promoter site it is tata box or it is tata box this promoter site it initiates this site starts the process of transcription no down in this promoter site one reason having tata base pairs that is a ta ta base pair rich region so it is named tata box tata box that is rich in atat base pair region and this was discovered by pribnow so this box is named tata box or pribnow box this promoter site it initiates the process of transcription the next component is and this component is structural gene not down in this structural gene because it is double stranded dna and it's one strand having a polarity of 3 dash to 5 dash this strand of dna of double stranded dna this strand acts as a template strand or master strand which involves in the formation of rna mrna while this strand which doesn't involve in transcription it is named it is non template or it is coding strand the next site the next component of this transcription unit is this third component is terminator site and this terminator site it stops the process of transcription it means in this segment of dna or in this transcription unit three components are present one is promoter site at this promoter site it initiates that site starts the process of rna formation in this site at base pair rich region is there so it is tata box and it was discovered by pribnow so it is pribnow box and this second component it is structural gene in which one strand having a polarity of 3 dash to 5 dash that strand acts as a template or master strand because there is a rule of transcription transcription always proceeds in 5 dash to 3 dash direction now down as well as in case of dna formation dna replication that process always always proceeds in 5 dash to 3 dash direction so this strand having a polarity of 3 dash to 5 dash 
that acts as a master stand or template stand and this third component it is terminator that terminator site stops the process of transcription in case of eukaryotes another fourth site is there and that site is enhancer site instead of these promoter site structural gene and terminator in case of eukaryotes fourth component is also present that is enhancer at that site speeds up the process of transcription both the dna strands no down this is a double stranded dna molecule the strand having 3 dash to 5 dash which is a template strand master strand having a sequence of nitrogen bases t a a c a t c c g t while its second strand which is complementary strand it is anti template strand having the sequence of nitrogen bases in the form of a t t g t a g g c a not down this double stranded dna molecule it undergoes transcription to give rise this mrna molecule having a genetic information having a coding sequence of nitrogen base that is a u u g u a g g c a not down this definite sequence of nitrogen base it is similar to this anti template strand it means this genetic information which is present in this mrna which is quite similar to this strand it is anti template strand this strand it is named as a sand strand dear students this strand acts as it is a plus strand because this information is quite similar to this coding strand or mrna strand except this thymine is replaced by uracil on the basis of this coding sequence on the basis of this definite sequence of nitrogen base in this mrna this strand is coding it is sand strand it is not template or it is plus strand because the information exists in this strand which resembles the definite sequence of nitrogen base which is present in this mrna strand so this second strand which is which shows polarity of 5 dash to 3 dash it is it is sand strand but note down that dear students the template strand it is anti sands now down this point all competitive exam students this strand having a polarity of 5 dash to 3 dash which doesn't involve in transcription it is coding having a definite sequence of nucleotides nitrogen base which resembles the definite sequence of nitrogen base present on mrna except thymine is replaced by uracil and this definite sequence which is present on this mrna similar to this genetic information which is present on this 5 dash to 3 dash so this strand is coding it is sense or it is plus strand on the basis of mrna while this master strand which involves in the formation of rna that acts as a template or it is anti sense now down this this strand is sand strand because this information which is present in this strand is similar to this mrna that's why this master or template strand is 
it is minus or it is negative strand while this strand it is plus it is positive strand because the information the genetic information the definite sequence of nucleotides nitrogen base that resembles which is quite similar to this mrna another very important point is both dna strands do not undergo transcription now down only one strand produce a single stranded mrna in which genetic information is coded if both strands are involved in transcription then two different types of proteins are formed one protein having a correct sequence of amino acids while the other protein that having reverse sequence of amino acids it means the entire information which is present on this mrna is present in this complementary strand so this strand which resembles this mrna strand it is sense strand if this strand also transcribes then a protein having reverse sequence of amino acids in correct sequence of amino acids is formed no down as well as another point is if this double stranded dna produce two strands of rna and both strands of rna which are complement to each other so they have a tendency to produce double stranded rna due to complementary base pairing and a double stranded rna never produce protein it doesn't undergo translation so this double stranded dna always produce a single stranded mrna means entire information exist only in one strand the polarity having 5 dash to 3 dash which is which resembles the definite sequence of nitrogen base present on mrna this entire process of transcription in case of eukaryotes that occurs throughout i phase interphase of a differentiated cell but this transcription is more common in g1 and g2 phase growth 1 and growth 2 phase phases of cell cycle and this entire process transcription in case of eukaryotes that occurs in nucleus because the dna the genetic material that is present in nucleus and that give rise rna molecule mrna molecule and at the time of translation protein synthesis the mrna which is formed in nucleus that moves out in cell cytoplasm and the process of translation the process of protein synthesis that takes place in cell cytoplasm while this process transcription in case of eukaryotes it occurs in nucleus while in case of prokaryotes because there is no definite nucleus so dna replication transcription as well as translation all three process take place in cell cytoplasm dear students in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss mechanism of transcription